as, was, as Jordan was saying there, you have the law of the sea, which is banking law. Everything commercial falls into the law of the sea. If you are using money, then you're operating in commerce, and that you're underneath the, uh, the law of the sea, admiralty law. What you're looking at here, this is the true structure of authority, okay? So, at the top, you have God, which is the word that we're using to describe the undescribable, but it's where we all come from. It's what makes all men equal is because we all came from this same source. This is how we're all equal in the eyes of the law. So, the only authority that you should have in your life comes directly from your creator force, which can be felt as your intuition. This is your law. God created mankind, and then um, when mankind multiplied, we needed to maybe organize ourselves a bit better, so we created government. It was something that we needed and something that we created, and we invested power in the government. Any power that the government has, is a, it's symbolic of the, of the power that the people have given to the government. So what the government did is they created rules and regulations to govern society as how they, how they seem fit or to their wishes or um, you know, acts or statutes that they, that they deemed were necessary for the running of society. But they, they still need the authority of the people to be enacted as well. Exactly. Even they're in force. See, or they have the force of law, sorry. That, that which is created, whatever is created is under the authority of its creator. So for, the, for us, for acts and statutes to apply to us, for the government to have a right or a legal right to take our rights away from us, they had to create something else which was called the person, which is the fictional entity, which is your name that appears on, in all caps on your driver license, bird search, you name it. That's what's called the dead person or the straw man. Now, we're going through our lives believing that we are the person. And we're living underneath all of this. We're living at the bottom of the pyramid, you know. But we need to take back our power. We need to be living with God as our sec you know, authority only. We're second only to God. We don't have any government, any authority, any judiciary above us. You must understand as well that uh, anything to do with the legal side of things has got nothing to do with a human being as a whole. It's all fictional. Only pieces of paper can exist in the legal world. So call it legal land. Anything that is written on a piece of paper can only exist with the authorized, uh, the authorized signature of any human being uh, in legal land. So it's got nothing to do with human beings whatsoever legal land. It's, not, it's natural law and common law only applied to human beings. So we'll get through that now in a second as well. We're gonna start getting into the person now and definitions given in uh, Black's Law Dictionary, Dictionaries and Bouvier's as well. As well. Person. This word is applied to men, women and children who are called natural persons. In law, man and person are not exactly synonymous terms. Any human being is a man, whether he be a member of society or not, wherever it may be be the rank he holds or whatever may his age, sex or race. A person is a man considered according to the rank he holds in society, the law society for example, with all the rights to which the place he holds entitles him and the duty which it imposes. That's some Bouvier's, uh, first Bouvier's law dictionary, is it? Yeah. Second, it may also be used to denominate a corporation which is an artificial person. They are also sometimes divided into free persons and slaves. Free men are those which have preserved their natural liberty, that is to say, who have the rights of doing what is not forbidden by the law. <laughs> Which law? Common law or... Common law. For example, a slave is one who is in the power of a master to whom he belongs. Slaves are sometimes ranked not with persons but things. But sometimes they are considered as persons. First group here is not Since Garda are acting in, they're trying to enforce acts and statutes upon you. They're actually acting commercially. And for, for a commercial act to happen, there has to be a contract. 
So the guardie are actually trying to get you to contract with them as well as creating join there between you and the person. So the best thing to do as we can get into is just the guardie tries to come near you or anything like that, you can just go, sorry, no contract, and just walk off. But they don't notice and they will, they will use force against you no matter what. But there is ways going around all the sign, different things, your names, if you are actually brought to a station by the guard and, uh, and you can operate under a thing, what is called operating under duress, under protest and duress, basically means in contract terms that you were coerced into this contract. They were, it was, you were forced into this contract which you did not want to attain to. And there's ways of getting around it like that. And uh, that won't hold up in court either if you were, if you were under duress when you were arrested, when a guard arrested you. I would say that you need to get a definition in your, a split in your head between what's legal and what's lawful. That's the key. Because we're thinking that when they say to us, say, the Misuse of Drugs Act or whatever, that that's law that they're quoting. That's not law, that's statutes, that's legislation that only applies in the legal world to the fiction. Like essentially what's happened is the law of merchants, the law of trade has spilled over onto the land and we're all under water. So, that's the sea of commerce. If you want to do business, if you want to interact in the sea of commerce, you need a vessel. And that's what your person is. Your person is your little boat for you to get on and do all of your you know, transactions. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good description of it right there. Yeah. <laughs> You're not a person. You have a person. The person was also known as a straw man, a trade name, or a fictional entity, or an on legate, a legal entity. A person is not a man or a woman. It is a legal entity similar to a corporation and it is used for all your commercial, governmental, finan financial documents and accounts usually appearing in all caps. Harry was saying earlier on that all the governments, departments, and bodies are all registered companies. Does everyone here know what the word body means? Do you hear it in the news all the time? They say government bodies. Body in legal terms actually means person or corporation. So they're actually talking about corporations. And the reason why these are all being turned into corporations is because they have to do business with your person. That's the reason for it. they can't do business with a human being.